Huh. What did your dad say when I said he was fired? He said nothing. <laughs> he said nothing. <laughs> I figured he would just laugh at me. <laughs> All right. So this is your first official test. Okay. Then, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Are you nervous? No. You should be. Oh, okay. Uh. I'm just kidding you. You know what? I texted your mom asking where you were, and I accidentally hit the microphone. So everything we just talked about is all texted right now to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I hate these smartphones. They're too smart for their own good. Hmm. All right. So we're going to do, we will live for a thousand years. You remember that topic? Yeah. All right. So we're going to, uh, we're going to, you're going to read that to me and the comments on the side here from the people who read it, Simone, Hannah, and Damien. You got to leave your camera on, Adam. Yeah. yeah you got to leave your camera on. It's in WhatsApp, so. <laughs> you're on WhatsApp using Zoom. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to ask you some questions, but you're going to have to read it to me so I can score your reading and pronunciation. And then you're going to tell me about what the people are saying in this article so I can see how you're using your grammar and vocab and fluency and comprehension when I ask you some questions. Um, is it like we will live for a thousand years uh, below it Then I read it? Well, the article, we will live for a thousand years. That's the one you read, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So are you ready? Yep. Okay. Read away. How long do you expect to live for in 1,100 many people died at age of about 50? Today, people often live for 80 years or more. And doctors predict that most young people today will live, will live to be over 100 but how much longer can people live? Some scientists believe that in the future, human will live for 1,000 years. Dr. Audrey de Grey compares the human body with a car. Most cars last 10 to 15 years, but some cars are 100 years old, and they're still as good as new. Why? Because their owners have required them and look after them carefully. Dr. De Grey believes that people can look after human body in the same way. Scientists are now, scientists are now in, inventing drugs that can complete repair old or damaged parts of our bodies. With these drugs, people are going to die from common diseases. Their bodies are going to stay young and healthy, but it, will it really be possible to keep people alive for 1,000 years. According to Dr. DeGray, the technology to make these drugs already exists. Of course, scientists are going to do more tests on the drugs, but Dr. DeGray predicts people are going to start taking them, taking them in the next few years. However, uh, however, he Predict that people won't live forever, although people won't die from old age. There will be accidents, so the message is wills to enjoy your life and make the most of it. Right. Um, comments. Gonna... comments? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think people will live for a thousand years. People have predicted things like this before dr de gray isn't the first and he won't he won't be the last person to make such promises simon people well, want this is the way they write women's names simone simone yeah no e if it's if it's just m o n then it's simon this is simone simone peterbrot uk yeah people want to live for people want People want to live forever, but it's impossible. You shouldn't believe everything you read. Hana Cyber Australia. 
I think the gray is right. I think I'll find out more about these drugs. I think scientists will discover how to how to cure cure old ages someday, but not so soon. Miller, the people die every every year from cancer for intense, and we can even cure them yet. Let's cure real diseases first. Okay, not too bad on the reading. A few, a few little mispronunciations, I guess you could say. But it seems like you were trying to read too fast a little bit. Yeah. Um, at the very beginning, it's not 1,900 many people died. There's, there's a comma there. Talking about in 1900, many people died at the age, uh, at the age of about 50. So we're talking about the year, not how many people. Okay. Right. Okay. So tell me about uh, what the scientists are talking about. What are they? So what's the reader talking about? Uh, the science. The scientist wants to predict the. Wait, no, no, no. The scientists. Uh. Believe that in the future humans will live for a thousand years. Why is that? It's because when they see a, a car, a, a most car lasts for ten until five, fifteen years, but it's still good as new. So they think like humans are cars. Uh, no. Humans are cars? <laughs> because their owners have repaired them. Yeah, and most cars them. last 10 to 15 years, but some people keep maintaining them, repairing them, fixing them up. And some cars are like 100 years old, but they still look like new or better than new. Mm -hmm. Because we can change things and fix yeah, them. Repair. Repair it, yeah. All right. In the 1900s, many people lived for 80 years. True or false? Uh, false. Yeah, that's not true. How old did they normally live to? What was the average age in the 1900s? Uh, people that at the, at the age of 50. The average age was about 50, yeah. Yeah. You got to 50, you lived a full life. It's a little different today. <laughs> My grandfather... Uh, sorry. My grandfather is 76. 76, yeah? Yeah. My father is 76. <laughs> oh. I'm a little older than you and your mom. People usually use their cars for about 30 years. I... False. How long do they usually keep a car? On average. Uh, most cars, eh, wait, 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 but no, no, they use for 100 years old mm. and, uh, no, some people uh -huh. collect cars, not the average person, the average person, the average car lasts about how long? The, uh, uh. The average car lives for um, 100 years. The average car, 100 years? Wait, no, 15 years. Yeah, 10, 15 years. Uh, <laughs> and the cars don't live. They oh, exist, yeah. right? <laughs> They're dead, okay. All right. According to Dr. DeGray, Scientists have already created drugs to completely repair old or damaged parts in our bodies. True or false? That's true. That's true. I think it is true. I've seen some videos where they can grow like ears and noses, and apparently they're able to do oh, things. Oh, I don't know that. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen a few videos on that. I'm not really sure what what kind of science that is, but they can do a lot more than we know. Okay. 
Dr. DeGray says that in the future, people won't die from the common illnesses. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's true. Yeah, he says people aren't going to die from common illnesses. Yeah. Their, their bodies will stay young and healthy. Longer anyway, over 100 for sure. Yeah. What do you think? What do I think? Uh, because people use, peop, uh, humans are a little like, I don't know, some some of it don't take care of their bodies. Then, then my answer is no, because people, w I think people not really take care of their bodies. For sure. Yeah, most people don't. Some, yeah. Yeah, true. Most people, a lot of people are unhealthy. They're not going to live to 100. <laughs> yeah. He says that people will start taking these drugs very soon. These magic drugs that will cure everything. False. Yeah, the gray doesn't say they'll be taking these drugs. Hmm. Wait. Eh, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah, I think so. Um, ah, here we go. The, according to Dr. DeGray, technology, uh, the technology to make these drugs already exists. Of course, scientists are going to do more tests on the drugs, but DeGray predicts people are going to start taking them in the next few years. Hmm. I don't like that idea either. I'm not much for taking pills. Mm -hmm. All right. According to Dr. DeGray, one day, People will live forever. I no, no, false. False. He warns that people won't live forever. Yeah. Although people won't die from old age, they'll die from other reasons, taking too much drugs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does Simone think about people? Think about people. What's her opinion? Uh she she her opinion is she doesn't trust dr de gray because she she don't witness this. <laughs> she don't witness the yeah so that means that simone don't believe it anything her she read yeah she doesn't believe any of this this uh she would say this nonsense that yeah. the doctor is preaching she doesn't buy it yeah, see, I, I have a hard time believing that people will start living to a hundred or more too. I think, I think it's some. Well, no, I know in some countries already, the average life expectancy has gone down, not up, because of the bad eating habits and everything that we have. So yeah. I suspect, and with the population issues and the food quality, yeah, I don't think we're gonna average over eighty anytime soon. I think it'll be the other way around. That's just my opinion. Uh, what what does uh, Hannah have to say? What what's her opinion? Uh, her opinion is she believes Doctor De Grey, so she say I think Doctor De Grey is right. So she say she say she thinks that we have to find more about these drugs. Yeah, that's her opinion. <laughs> yeah. And what does uh, Damien think from Camden, London? Camden. What does he think? Oh, uh, there's no... The last one, Damien. Oh, the, I think the gray is right, like that? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Uh, Damien, Dem Damien says that in her in in his opinion is right. He he trusts Doctor De Grey because the is this can discover how the to cure old age one day. No, he doesn't disagree. He doesn't agree much. 
he says he'd like to do some research himself because he says that we should focus on curing cancer and and uh, yeah. other diseases that we can't cure yet. So if you can't cure these diseases, how are you going to start developing pills to make people live to a thousand? So yeah. he's quite skeptic too. Yeah, he's not too. Uh, not really trust. No, he doesn't trust him very much. Or he doesn't trust the information yeah, or the statements. Yeah. All right. No, that was pretty good for your first test. Pretty good, pretty good. I think Matt's going to have the highest score this time. Chichi had a hard time with her reading because she was doing that. That uh, What was she doing? A literature project? <laughs> oh. But, uh, but you're somewhere in the middle there. You did really well, Adam. Okay. I'm proud of you. You did good. Okay. I can't thanks. see your face. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Sorry. <laughs> There you are. Now I can see you. All right, then. So we'll see you on, uh, when are we? Thursdays, right? Friday. Yeah, Friday. Wait, no, 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 no. This is... Thursday. I forget when our class is. Yeah, I think it's Friday. Friday. Friday at 7.10. That's right. Friday evenings. Friday, right yeah. Just 23. All right. Good job, Matt. Or okay. Adam. I always call Adam. you Matt. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. God bless you. God bless you too. Just spinning, just spinning. Spinning, just spinning.